Dr. Jeffrey Spiegel of Facial Plastic Surgery at Advanced Facial Aesthetics in Boston and Chestnut Hill, Massachusetts. I wanted to talk to you today about specific facial plastic surgery for Asian people. Why would Asian people need different plastic surgery? Well, it's not that it's different, it's just that there are very specific procedures that are very common in uh, Asia, in Hong Kong, Taiwan, Korea, Japan, uh, Vietnam. These procedures are very common and they're less common in the United States except here at my office at Advanced Facial Aesthetic Surgery, we do them quite commonly. What are some examples? Well, one is, of course, the double eyelid surgery. Now, as you probably know, many Asian people will have uh, a lack of a crease on the upper eyelid. Some people will have a very low crease or a very faint crease. Well, should you have a crease on your upper eyelid? Some people who are of Asian descent do, and some people who don't. And most people who are not Asian do have that crease. Is it more attractive to have that crease? I wondered that myself. So we did a big research project about a year ago and discovered that amongst Chinese women, for example, it's considered much more attractive to have uh, a medium height eyelid crease. Who feels this is attractive? Well, people who are non-Asian and living in the United States find it attractive. People who are Asian Americans living in the United States find it attractive. And people who are Chinese who live in China found it more attractive as well. We surveyed each of these groups to find out. So it turns out that there's a reason why this is a very popular procedure. And it doesn't have to be a particularly complicated procedure. There are two basic ways to do it. There's the incisionless way and the way that makes a small incision. Now, the incisionless way sounds a lot better, doesn't it? You don't have to make any kind of surgical incision. It's all just done with stitches. Unfortunately, the incisionless method, while it can be good for some people, it, the crease is permanent at all times, meaning when you close your eyes, the crease is still present, which can be a little unnatural but it is a faster and easier operation. The type where we make a small incision is usually the type that I prefer because the incision disappears on the very fine eyelid skin and the crease is very natural. It's present when your eyes are open, but when your eyes are closed, it, it fades away. Basically, what we do is reposition a certain muscle to the skin so that the crease forms in a very natural way and we can choose the height. The whole procedure takes under an hour. You don't have to stay in the hospital. You go home, there's very little discomfort, and people look really good within just about a week. It's a very nice procedure, which can actually have a very positive effect on the way you look. Other operations that are very common amongst Asian uh, Americans and Asians in Asia uh, are things such as jaw narrowing. Now, I have another video on narrowing the jaw, and I'll just touch on it here, but sometimes the angles of the jaw, which is right here, a straight line from your ear down, we'll find the angle of the jaw where the bone takes a bend. And oftentimes that can be very pronounced and give you a very wide face. That's considered unattractive in certain situations and for certain cultures and people. And it's a very straightforward thing for me to narrow that. If it's mostly muscle that's involved, which you can test, you put your fingers on the side of your face and bite down, clench down. If you feel a large muscle flare out, that might be the main problem. In that case, we can either reduce the size of the muscle surgically or inject you with uh, Botox or a similar agent to shrink it. If it's the bone, however, which it is very commonly, then just by a small incision inside the mouth, I'm able to narrow that bone and give you the uh, very attractive shape you're looking for. One last thing to touch upon in specifically Asian surgery has to do with rhinoplasty or nose surgery. Uh, Asian noses oftentimes have a very flat bridge, meaning at the very top here, it's somewhat flat between the eyes. And so we can do certain techniques to raise that up and to make the tip less wide and to give you a very attractive nasal profile. We've done this for many, many people who have been quite happy. And I don't necessarily use synthetic implants. In Asia, it's common to use silicone or other sort of synthetic materials. I like to do things all naturally so that you don't have that risk of infection. If you have any uh, questions about Asian blepharoplasty, jaw narrowing, rhinoplasty, or specific other uh, questions on any of this, please contact me at www.drspiegel.com. That's D-R-S-P-I-E-G-E-L.com.